Hi, this is the comprehensive guide to connecting the TP-Link RE205 to your home Wi-Fi network. I'll show you three methods via WPS, via web browser and a smartphone application. Let's get started. Quick heads up before you start. First of all, check the LED power indicator on the extender. It must glow solid blue light. Check your router. It must be connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi and then you can proceed. The first and the fastest method is to connect the extender via WPS. Uh, to do this, locate the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the back panel and it's labeled. Uh, then press the WPS button on the router and within two minutes press the WPS button on your extender. Uh, all you need to do now is just wait and monitor your Wi-Fi networks. Take any Wi-Fi gadget and let's see what's, what is going on. So now uh, we will see new networks here. Let's restart the Wi-Fi to make sure we are refreshed. So now we see TP-Link extender network, but that's not what we want. We want uh, to see the uh, network which is named same as our main network. My name, main network is my Wi-Fi, but with EXT abbreviation added to the end. EXT stands for extender. At the same time, uh, the LED indicators on the extender uh, will start glow solid blue light, all four of them. Or if you have the single band rotor, uh, you will see only 2.4 gigahertz indicator. Just be patient and, and wait. It takes some time, usually less than two minutes. Now we see my Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz extended and my Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz extended. So four in a row, two networks here, so we can connect. And that's it, you are connected to the internet now and you can relocate the extender uh, between somewhere between your router and Wi-Fi dead zone, but make sure uh, that the extender is still in the router's range and you can uh, look on the signal indicator. If it's blue, uh, the signal is okay. If it's red, you need to move the extender closer to the router. Setting up via web browser may seem tricky to somebody, but this is the most advanced method it, and it gives you the full control over your extender. So let's get on with this. Uh, once again, check the power indicator. It must glow solid blue and then go to uh, the Wi-Fi settings on your desktop and connect to the extender network. It is named TP-Link extender. So let's connect and open your browser. Uh, in the address bar you need to uh, type in the extender's IP address. It's by default it's 192.168.0.254. Uh, then press enter and it takes you to the password creation page. So let's create the device password. Once again, write, write it down somewhere. Don't create too simple password. Now you must log in using your just created password. And it takes you to the quick installation wizard and here select the Wi-Fi network you wish to extend. Enter your current Wi-Fi password. Click on next. Then select the 5 gigahertz band you wish to extend. Once again enter your password. Click on next. Check if everything is correct because the connection will not be established if the password is not correct right here. Confirm. Uh, on the next step, you can rename your extender. For example, if you wish to tell apart different extenders for different rooms, but let me 
I leave the defaults for now. Here you need just wait. You have nothing to do with this. It takes time. Uh, now, as before, you can relocate uh, your extender in a halfway point between your router and Wi-Fi dead zone. Make sure that the signal indicator is blue, not red. Otherwise, just move the extender closer to your router. Click on Done. Now you can connect to the network. Let's connect. Let's connect to 5 gigahertz. If you don't see, just wait until it appears. 5 gigahertz extended. Connect. Connect it without password, but if you need password, the password is the same as for your main network. Uh, let's click on finish. Uh, actually, after clicking finish, it should take us to the admin panel of the extender, but it in some reason it doesn't so um, let's try another method if you're okay for now if you don't want to see the admin panel if you you can continue to use your uh, extender and you can close this video but uh, I would like to show you some advanced uh, features uh, some advantages of connection via web browser uh, so let me let me explain you how to enter the admin panel of the extender uh, usually normally for tp-link you need just enter the tp-link repeater.net and press enter and it, it will takes you it will take you to the admin panel but if it doesn't work in some reason uh, you need to go to your rotors admin panel i mean your main rotor uh, log into your router admin panel then make your way to the D DHCP client list here it is DHCP client list then find your extender RE205 and copy its IP address open new tab paste the IP address here and now you can log in uh, you need to remember your login password that's it now we are in the settings menu and what I recommend you to do after you get the successful network configuration is to make a backup uh, file in the system tools so go to system tools backup and, re and restore and click on backup if you see this message insecure download blocked click on keep uh, later if you need to reset router in some reason for example it doesn't work uh, you can go back to the system tools restore upload your configuration file here and click on restore and you will have your configuration your connections passwords and so on back in your router uh, in your router in your extenders firmware uh, also from here you can connect to one mesh to create seamless network uh, through your house so your devices will connect to the internet for the maximum speed without without passwords uh, but let's move ahead I'll show you how to connect via a smartphone connect using the smartphone application is my favorite because it's super simple and also gives us a lot of control over uh, the extender so uh, you need to install the TP-Link tether application first 
it's available in Play Store and App Store, then go to this application. If you don't have an account, you need to create one and log in. It's super simple, so let me, let me skip the explanation. Uh, anyways, now once you logged in, uh, it takes you to the My Devices screen and you will see your main rotor here. Uh, but you need to see extender. Uh, to do this, go to Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone and connect to the TP-Link extender network. Then go back to the application. And that's it, RE205 is here. And if you still don't see your extender, you can tap on the plus icon, then add a range extender. Make sure that LED is solid on, confirm this. Wait for a while. Now you have to create the device password. Not a Wi-Fi password so far, but the password to enter your uh, device settings. Tap on next. Uh, now let's select the network we want to extend. It's our current network, my Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz band. Then you have to enter your current Wi-Fi password. And let's extend the 5 GHz band. If you have the single band router, the system will just skip this step. Uh, tap on next, check the passwords. Tap on next once again. Uh, here you can change your network names, but I don't need to change them for now. And just wait and for the settings to be applied. You can also look on your uh, on your extenders LED signals. You will see four in a row when everything is ready. But anyway, uh, you need to wait for the application to finish the settings. Once you see this screen and four LEDs in a row on your extender, uh, you can relocate uh, the extender somewhere where it serves better, uh, in the halfway between your router and Wi-Fi dead zone. But make sure that the signal indicator is blue, not red. Uh, once again and confirm location, tap on next and connect to your Wi-Fi. Just copy password just in case you need it, but I think, I think it will connect to us without password. Then select 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, I prefer 5. Connect it without password. If you need password, the password is the same uh, as for your main network. Login in. Now we are all set, we are connecting, we are connected, everything works well and you can manage your settings in this application. The most important is the more tab, I think. Uh, so uh, as in browser, you can connect your extender to one mesh to the seamless network. You can change the operation mode so you can use this device not as a range extender but as an access point connect it to your router via Ethernet cable or connect it to the LAN socket and it sig significantly increases the internet speed. Uh, that's it. Any questions, comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and bye guys, have a nice day.